Welcome to D Beaver's YouTube channel. D Beaver Community is a great free tool for learning SQL basics. We want to show you how convenient it can be by starting a series of short videos dedicated to the study of SQL statements. Today, we will talk about the select statement and how to write and execute it. The SQL select statement is used to retrieve data from a database table. The data returned is stored in a result table called the result set. Let's start by downloading our open source app. There are several ways to do this. In the description below this video, you will find a link to a full video describing the downloading and installing process. When you first run our application, you will be prompted to create a sample SQLite database. We can use this database to learn how to work with SQL statements. Expand your new database in the navigation tree and open the invoice table. This will open the data editor and you will see all the table data in a convenient grid format. You have just executed your first select query using our app, which displayed the table in full. Now, you are probably wondering how you can write this query by yourself. Let's do it together. To get started, we need to open the SQL editor. To display all data from a table, we need to enter the following text in the editor field. Select asterisk from invoice. The simple SQL query consists of three parts. The SQL operation, the target, and the condition. The target of a select statement is the set of tables and views listed in the from clause. In our case, we are selecting all columns from the table and aren't applying any conditions to them. Instead of the list of columns, we need to use the asterisk sign that means select all. Please pay attention to auto-suggest, which will help you write queries in our app both quickly and correctly. Just start typing and then select the appropriate item from the menu that appears and press the enter button. Next, click on the execute SQL statement button on the left toolbar of the SQL editor or press Ctrl plus Enter. A result set will appear at the bottom of the app, which is exactly the same grid that we saw when we opened the table through the data editor at the very beginning. But what if you only want to display data from a few columns in a table? In this case, you need to list their exact names with a comma instead of an asterisk sign. If the table names are too long or complicated, you can drag and drop them from the navigation tree. Replace your statement with the following text. Select billing city, billing address, invoice date, total from invoice. Now, if you run the query, you will see in the results tab only the columns we have selected. When you want to use data to limit the number of records that are returned in a query, you can use conditions or criteria. They can look very different from each other depending on the data type of the field. Use the WHERE clause to specify any filters which you can apply to the data. For example, you only want to show the rows where the total is more than four. To do this, after the table name, write, where, total, more than four, then execute the statement one more time. Great job! Now you know how to write simple queries to the database. In our next video in this series, we will teach you how to use other basic SQL statements. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.